What's good, y'all? Jay Coffee tapping back in. Got another news update for you guys. Thanks for rocking with me, everyone. Now, check it out, man. We know Wheezy got the pardon. You know what I'm saying? Had that all lined up, played that out perfectly to get out of that Fed time, you know? And uh, he's busy now. You know what I'm saying? He's got that up out of the way and he's back to working. Lil Wayne just never stops working, man. Remember, like, what was it? 06, 07, 08 when uh, Wayne was just on fire. I mean, Wayne's still wheezy, but I'm just saying at that time, it was like next level. Everywhere you turned around, you heard Lil Wayne. It felt like he was dropping so many mixtapes at that time. You know what I mean? Legend has it. He was in the studio every day, like a, like a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, um, we know Tory Lanez, the whole situation with Meg Thee Stallion, still ongoing you know there was that uh false report the other day that the case was dismissed but that is not the case he goes back uh late february and um i don't know if you guys caught that that lawyer for uh was it lawyer for workers or whatever that guy is on the gram that attorney who's always tapping in on all these different hip-hop situations like i fluck with him no disrespect or anything but uh he jumped the gun on that one and put up a post talking about i told y'all the case was gonna get thrown out but then um he did delete that post and put up a new one and was like you know my bad I, that was erroneous but uh he he did reiterate that he feels the case will be thrown out you know what i'm saying but in the meantime uh, people feel a lot of different ways about tory lanes and i don't know you know we gotta I get you. We got to see uh, what the end result is, what is uncovered as as time goes on. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, people, it, it seems like a lot of rappers are kind of uh, scared to mess with Tory Lanez because uh, it's bad for their image. But at the same time, you know what I mean? They don't want to rock with Tory if that is indeed true. If Tory did that, you know what I mean? Um, we saw recently the baby uh, Tory Lanez tweeted out that he had a track coming with the baby. And, um, you know, everyone was was going off on the baby and Meg the Stallion chimed in on it. You know what I mean? But it seems Wheezy is rocking with Tory Lanez and, you know, has no issue showing support for Tory as, uh, you know, it's Tory shared on social media, a clip of their new video together, Big Tipper. And he put up the following uh, caption said, bruh, Lil Tunchi, bruh, first day after the pardon. My dude came and did my video for Big Tipper featuring Melly. Uh, I will never forget the tremendous love you show me tune. Big Tipper video coming soon. One Umbrella 2021. We not playing fair. So, uh, you know, Lil Wayne rocking with Tory Lanez. And Tory Lanez is extremely thankful that uh, Wheezy is there for him during this time. So hit the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about that. And your thoughts on the case, you know, if it's going to be dismissed. It's, it's a crazy situation. Um, I could go on and on speaking about that. But let's move along to the next story. Yes, it's another update regarding as is Eminem, uh, Young Z. Like I just talked on in my previous video, Young Z um, did the interview and shot down everything as is said. And it seems now he's uh, taking some shots as is you know and uh someone commented on that video and and uh basically was saying yo people go through a lot in in their life you know let's uh let's show young z some support he just came home because you know someone like linked in with the outsiders was just that i was dming with the other day was explaining to me you know about how young z just came home from doing a bid and i definitely definitely urge everyone to go uh you know support young z subscribe follow him whatever you know what i mean the man is definitely dope but he shared this snippet to a new track and he put up the following caption he says as is don't want these hashtag bars hashtag stop playing young z bars spit some so once again, I urge everyone to go tap in with what Young Z has going on. You know, when I originally started reporting on this whole as is Eminem situation and was speaking on the outsiders and I was saying how there seem to be a lot of Eminem fans, you know what I mean, who are, are probably uh, younger or maybe they just haven't list been listening to M for that long that weren't 
aware of who the outsiders were. And um, you know what I'm saying? That M rocks with them and that they play an integral role in Eminem's career in the early stages. You know what I'm saying? And that they were close. And listen, I'm not trying to like ish on anyone out there, like just because you don't know this or anything. But my point being now, we see Young Z's riding with Eminem. Like, like, like I said, he he shut down everything as is is talking about and now we see he's got new music coming he's got that like go check that snippet out tap in with him like i said but how dope would it be for hip-hop if you know now all these years later everything that transpired all that you know like if uh young z was able to uh like i'm signed him now you know what I mean? And and maybe they did get an outside outsiders project out on Shady Records now or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's been a long time, but I think all in all, that would be dope. You know what I mean? Just kind of like how the Bad Meets Evil EP, you know, early on in M's career, M and Royce on the Slim Shady LP, the track Bad Meets Evil at the end, they said, see you in hell for the sequel. You know what I mean? And then different things transpired. The beef with D12 popped off. Em and Royce didn't necessarily have a straight up beef, but they kind of stopped talking and it took them, what, like 10, 11, 12 years uh, to where they were back like 100 percent with each other and got that EP out. How about if that happened with the Outsiders now? Like, I, I don't know. That would be dope, in my opinion. You guys hit the comments. Let me know what you think about that. But moving along to the next story that I wanted to, uh, you know, cover with you guys Danny Lee, right? I'm not really familiar with her. Whenever I cover these stories, guys, if it's something that I'm not, you know, super, super up on, I try to let y'all know that. You know what I mean? I, I always let you guys know I ain't out here acting like I'm no big expert. I just love hip hop. I like to blog on the things that I do. I let y'all know my take and you give me yours. That's what this platform's all about. But uh, Danny Lee, I don't know much about her. I know that uh, her and the baby date, you know what I'm saying? Um, from my understanding, that's that's wifey for the baby, right? I, I've seen them uh, taking flicks together when they're out moving around. You know what I mean? At events, they got a lot of pictures together and whatnot. But it seems um, she puts out this apology. This song that she has, Yellow Bone, is causing some controversy. She's being accused of colorism. So let's check out her apology, y'all. just wanted to address what's going on with me right now. Um... I think it's super important because I definitely feel super misunderstood and, you know, my song, Yellow Bone is what he won't. Um, I think people twist it into thinking, like, I'm trying to bash another woman, another skin tone. Like, that was never my intention. I wasn't brought up like that. I never looked at my skin as a privilege. I never looked at me as I'm better than somebody because of my skin tone. Nah, like, I see brown skin women flaunt their skin all the time in music, like, why can't I talk about mine? If you look at me, I'm light skinned. I'm a yellow bone. In my opinion, that's just what I am. So it's like, it wasn't something that I looked at so deeply, which I can see why people will take it deeply. So I understand. And I'm sorry that I wasn't sensitive to the topic when I wrote my comment. Like, why are you guys taking it so personal? Because it can be a personal thing to certain people. It's so personal because it can be a personal thing to certain people because colorism is a real thing. So I do get it. But I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not a colorist. I'm not a racist. I date a whole chocolate man. I have beautiful dark skinned friends. Like, and skin isn't something I even see. Like, it's not something that I look at. Like, you know, so yeah, I don't live for the internet. I just, because people don't know me. So that's why I thought it was important to speak on it because, because you don't know me. It's like, let me tell you guys what I meant by this. So hopefully you guys can watch this with a open heart, a genuine mind, and just, you know, try to get past it. I'm sorry. Again, I offended people who are truly offended. I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm going to just keep grinding, keep doing me. Oh. All right, man. So hit the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about what she's talking about here. I don't really have much commentary on this uh, topic here, but uh, you see the different tweets coming up and stuff. Uh, a lot of people reacting to what Danny Lee's saying, um, you know, She's saying she is not a colorist. And, uh, you know, just let me know what you guys all think about this. I saw someone 
calling her like whoa vicky or something like that like I, I i don't really know much about her i just know that she's dating the baby but i'm seeing some people accusing her of being on some like whoa vicky type stuff i don't know you guys hit the comments let me know what you think about that about this whole thing here and moving along the last topic that i wanted to cover with you guys salt and pepper you know le legendary group i remember them from way back when i was a youngin you know definitely put their mark on hip-hop achieved a lot i remember you know push it uh if you guys recall dipset actually did a, a sample they did a dipset version of push it uh let's let's talk about sex was like isn't that kind of crazy to think that let's talk about sex and shoop and all that was like considered to be pushing the envelope and controversial back in those days and now like the the stuff we hear on that uh cardi b track and all that you know what i mean times have definitely changed but her uh spinderella the dj left the group back in 2019 and uh now there's this biopic out and she's uh, hit Twitter to, to air out some of the grievances that she has with this Lifetime biopic and just her issues with uh, salt and pepper. She put out this whole Twitter thread. Uh, she said, sorry, but I got to speak on this Lifetime special. Too often, black women who have made meaningful contributions in their industry are left out of historical narratives. Back when salt and pepper was building our legacy, which is rooted in empowering women i could not have dreamed that this same group would one day disempower me words cannot fully express my disappointment when i learned a decision was made to move forward with a lifetime biopic that wrongfully excluded me from every aspect of development and production um words can uh my bad uh all the while using my image throughout Given that I played an integral role in the group story and success, there is nothing more unacceptable than a woman being silenced by another woman. It is for this reason I will not be supporting it. I do, however, want to offer huge cred a huge congratulations to the talented actresses that represented us, including Bonique Powell, who I wish would have been given an opportunity to share my true perspective in reflection i'm grateful i've managed to uphold a 30-year career of truly empowering women with my gift against all odds this will continue in my work and in my service the great news is i'm in the final stages of writing my memoir a personal journey navigating through life relationships and the industry that raised me 30 plus years is a lot of content and I'm ready to share. Um, so you hear her, she uh, is very, uh, we see this so often with, with groups, man, whether it be hip hop, rock, whatever. Groups always seem to uh, break up or if not full out break up, some members leave, new members come in. Um, you know what I mean? And it's it's always just a shame. And from my understanding, she had a lawsuit against the group. I seen him on The Breakfast Club talking about this where uh spinderella said her contract was breached um, she had there was unpaid royalties they were cutting her out of group business and you always wonder you know if this is stuff when it happens with these artists in these groups like if they're doing it themselves or it's it's bad management and agents or people you know skimming money like who knows exactly how it all goes down but you see she's not supporting this lifetime biopic movie and that brings up another point that I, I always wonder when I watch these bi biopics, you know what I mean? Because we're going to see a lot more of them because they're very popular, like the Tupac joint, the Biggie one, um, NWA. You know, you always wonder, like, how accurate these biopics are, you know what I mean? She's saying she can't express it or uh, support it. She wasn't even involved in it. She didn't get to tell her story. She's got her memoirs coming. But like like similar uh, when we saw the N.W.A. biopic, we know, you know, at, at this point now, I mean, rest in peace, Easy e But, um, you know, at this point now, I feel like all the N living N.W.A. members are, are pretty much on good terms. But, you know, there was all kinds of beef between them. And you just wonder how accurate they get these stories when they put them out there. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know. She's. She's upset here. She uh, spoke her piece. You guys hit the comments with your thoughts 
on uh, on this as well this this whole salt and pepper situation but that's all i got guys let me know your thoughts on all these topics that i covered on here make sure to sub to the channel hit the notification bell if you're new daily content we pump it out always want to hear from the people i will catch you guys on the next one and i'm gone